guys, welcome to my channel. This was created because I feel that there's a need for us to have a presence on YouTube and online regarding moving abroad. There are plenty of people who are interested or have wondered about it and then those who have actually done it. We are among those who have done it and this is the channel that I'm creating so that there's a source for information for others to go to and get information. One of the larger questions that I get asked is, do we live on the beach? And the answer is, no, we do not. I did not want to live on the beach moving from Florida. Um, although I love warm weather, I knew that that was not a priority for me. San Miguel was the choice. It's a town that is approximately four hours north of Mexico City, and it is in the mountains. We are approximately 7,000 feet above sea level, and the temperature year-round is pretty uh, steady in general. For example, we have seasons, but they're very mild. We have April and May. Those are our summer months. It can get hot in the day, but it always cools down at night. June through about September is considered their rainy season. And then in November and December, January, you can get nights that are kind of cold. It doesn't snow here. Um, we don't have like crazy winters or anything like that. But most days around noon or one o'clock, it does creep up to about 70 to 80 degrees. So it's a nice climate for people who are looking for that more predictable type of weather. We don't experience a lot of the uh, natural disasters that can happen at the beach, hurricanes and earthquakes don't really affect us because of the positioning of this particular town. I think it's a great option. It does not have its own personal international airport, but there's a city that's not far from here called Querétaro, and it's about 45 minutes. It's a full-on city, and there's an international airport there especially for those traveling from the East Coast. If you're coming from the West Coast, there's a international airport in Leon, which is also about another hour to our West. So there's a great option for two major cities that aren't too far away from uh, San Miguel. And another thing that's important is a lot of people are interested in knowing about the amenities and what types of things would they be either missing out on. And I can honestly say not much. I really can't think of anything that I'm really missing out on here. For example, um, before I moved here, I knew that Mexico had Costco's, but I didn't realize that it was a common thing. And when I moved here, we discovered that the city of Querétaro, which is about 45 minutes from us, has Costco's, they have a state-of-the-art shopping center, they have all sorts of shops, they have Walmart, they have Home Depot, um, they even had a Chuck E. Cheese, which I was <laughs> surprised about just because I didn't know it existed. So there are all sorts of things. They have a lot of uh, restaurants that we're familiar with, like Chile's and Buffalo Wings type places, Pizza Huts, you name it. Um, which is great. I mean, if those are things that you're desiring to still have in your life, if you move abroad, then you're not going to miss that in moving to Mexico. Not that that's priority for everyone, but I'm just sharing it because I know that it makes sometimes the transition a little bit easier. I love going to Costco's and I, I enjoy kind of still having that as an option. I've even found a place that I can buy my vegan products from and it's called Mr. Tofu and it's literally two minutes away from Costco so I'm not missing too much in this regard. More about moving and living in Mexico. Mexico as a whole there's 129 million people who live here and of those 129 million 1.4 million of those are Afro-Mexicans with the same history that the slaves have had in the U.S. The areas that are somewhat isolated, I think, are located in the 
Costa Chica and Veracruz. That's a place that I would like to kind of visit at some point so that I can just familiarize myself with um, Afro, Afro-Africans, I guess, that um, have a similar history to Afro-Americans. So we are looking into that a little more. There's more information online that you can find about different things that they put on, for example, festivals and um, dances and what their community is like and the struggles that they've had. I feel that that information is um, kind of important to a lot of people who may ask, hey, do you, meaning where we live, have a lot of Afro-Americans living in this town? The answer is no. However, in the Yucatan, there's a city called Merida that is having currently a rapid growth of Afro-Americans that are moving there. So I would say at the moment, they probably have one of the fastest growing um, Afro-American populations of expats. I think that for some people this is important and they want to still be able to be in touch with um, people that they're familiar with or being close to and around. Um, moving to San Miguel, that wasn't at the top of my list. However, there is a very small population of Afro-Americans that live here and we practically know everyone. Uh, Merida, however, has, like I said, a very quickly growing Afro-American population. And Caroline Membrano, she has a fantastic page on Facebook called The Black Mexpat Community. And there you can find lots of information, just like you will on my page, about moving abroad. Feel free to ask me questions by subscribing to my channel. Um, you can find me on Facebook on Afro Expats. You can find me on Instagram for Afro underscore Expats. And also my Gmail is AfroExpats at gmail.com. I'm here to ask, answer any questions you might have. and. If you do want to spend some time to talk on the phone, we can schedule an appointment, etc. I would love to share my experience with you guys, so stay tuned to my channel, which will have my day-to-day -day kind of things that I think people want to know about, and also some of the things that we do while, in, while living here, places that we may visit, just to give people inspiration and also insight on how much diversity exists in this culture and how fabulous it is living here for us. All right, stay tuned.